Hey, shit. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So, it is currently 2 a.m. And I woke up probably like around 1.40, right? Um, couldn't go back to sleep. And I was like, let me just watch some videos. There was no, there were no videos like up that I really wanted to watch. So, I watched some of my old videos like three years ago. Well, first I would say, you know, I'm still very cute. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I'm so cute. Okay, yeah. I'm still very cute. But secondly, um, I saw that I was using a certain deck. And I was like, where is that deck? This is the deck. Okay. The Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. Okay. Yeah. So I went to go find a deck. Okay. Found it. Right. And then I was like, okay, well, now that you found it, what are you going to do with it? Well, since I'm up, <laughs> might as well give you a video. And I'm going to use like the same style. I kind of I kind of read the same way, but I'm going to use the style that, you know, I kind of initially started with. Okay. So let's see how you receive it. All right. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do, this is just something I'm doing right now. I'm going to do uh, each element. So I'm going to do like all the fire signs, and then we'll do like all the air signs, and then water, and then earth, okay? So, this was gonna be for Aries, okay? And then I'm gonna do Leo and Sage. Okay, so this is for Aries. I'm gonna look at the recent past, current energy, and immediate future, as well as get you some advice, okay? And I will also look at the overall energy, okay? So this is for Aries, Holy Spirit, angels in heaven. Please give a message that is clear and accurate for Aries. Right, and since I'm doing it this way, we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> for Aries. One more. For Aries. Okay. All right. Aries. Overall energy, distance. Barriers, separation, space. Okay. So you might be experiencing some distance from someone or from people or whatever. We're going to clarify and see. What happened in the recent past? Drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching, okay? So maybe you and someone was drifting more and more apart, okay? Current energy, fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination, okay? All right, so you might be dreaming more. You might be feeling like... What's happening in the current is more of a fantasy. Immediate future. Harmony. Peace. Balance. Friendship. Okay? So things are getting back into balance in the immediate future. All right? And your advice? Time. Weight. Cycles. Infinity. Okay? Spirit might be like, listen, things take time. So you might have felt like it wasn't going to ever get to this point of harmony. But Spirit might be saying, like, listen, things take time. Let's clarify and see. I can't use this deck with um this one because they look too much alike and then they get mixed up. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay. For Aries, Holy Spirit. Okay. So as I'm looking at the cards, I saw the Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords. This could be someone you've had an argument with. Um, you could be like choosing to maybe like or even considering to go in a different direction, especially with distance being here. I saw the two of wands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, you know, between the two of you. All right. So apply how it fits. <laughs> Why is distance here? This is the overall energy, okay, Aries? Why is distance here for Aries, Holy Spirit? Distance. <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, right? The Queen of Pentacles. With the four of wands on the bottom and the sun. Okay. So you could be in separation. It says separation of various distance, space. Okay. You could be um, in separation with someone that you see as a wish fulfillment. Okay. With the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles. This could be someone that you see as very stable. Um, someone that like checks all the boxes for you, someone you maybe was in a relationship with, okay, or maybe want a relationship with. You could have um maybe been in a home with this person, or maybe even like share like a dwelling, right? Um, with the Queen of Pentacles energy, this could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo feminine energy, okay. 
It doesn't have to be a woman. Feminine energy. Okay. Okay, because uh, Aries, you are a masculine sign. Okay, so why is distance here for Aries? Huh? Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> the full mars actually came out. Okay, so definitely um, with the Knight of Pentacles, Justice, Nine of Swords, yeah. and the Four of Swords. Okay. So you might be in like separation or have space between you and someone that you see as a wish fulfillment. This person, you know, you see as very stable, responsible. You might have had a home with this person. With the Knight of Pentacles and Justice, you might have been taking your time to do what's right because with the Nine of Swords, you probably didn't know how to do it. Okay? Like, how do I make this right? How do I heal it? How do I make things balance again with harmony in the immediate future? Okay? With the Six of Wands on the bottom and the Five of Wands, Devil, is like you want things to be right. But there's a conflict. It's like, I want success in this, but how? Okay? And this could be like a repetitive cycle. Okay? Um, especially with the devil energy. There may be, because with the ten of wands, you could, you know, it's like, can, you know, be like guilt, heavyweight. You might even feel like you kind of caused this. Okay? So let's look at drifting in the recent past. Both the Aries. Why is drifting here in the recent past for Aries spirit? Please make it clear. Drifting in the recent past for Aries. Six of Swords. Okay. So the Six of Swords is moving on to common waters, moving on to a better state. Okay. You might have felt like Okay, if you were drifting, slowly parting or disconnecting or detaching from someone in the recent past, um, you might have felt like you were moving on to something better, okay? Especially with the Six of Wands, but with that Five of Wands, there was like a conflict um, or some type of interference, okay? Why is drifting here? Yeah. Strength card. Yeah, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. With moving on to something better in the Six of Swords, um, you have the Strength card and the Two of Pentacles. Some cause you to, um, like, something cause you to, like, um, like, go back and forth with that idea, okay? So you might have been slowly parting from someone, and with the Strength card, that kind of explains why it was, like, a slow part, because you wasn't sure with the Two of Pentacles, Okay? It's like, yeah, I'm moving on to something better. But there was like a conflict there. It was like some type of interference. Like, mm, that kind of caused you to not, not be sure. To kind of resist slowly parting. Okay? Um, but the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay? And the Two of Swords. It's like, you had a new, new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. One that you have manifested. But with the Two of Swords, you were like, I don't know. I don't know. Because there was some type of interference with you moving on. Okay? So it was like slowly parting, drifting. Okay? Well, in the current energy, you have fantasy. Dreams, fairy tale, imagination. Why is fantasy here for Aries? Please make it clear. Okay. okay. The full energy in the three of cups. Okay. This is like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. With the five of cups. Someone is stepping out on faith. Someone is like, you know, showing energy of themselves that they maybe have not shown before, okay? With the full energy, is like, ooh, you know, this is someone um, showing behaviors that they wouldn't necessarily show, okay? And with the Three of Cups energy, this could be like asking you out on a date, um, being jokey, you know, like joking around, having fun with you, wanting to do stuff, wanting to spend time with you, wanting to maybe be up under you, everything that you desire with this fantasy card, right? Um, you might feel like, oh, this is like, like a fairy tale. Like, when you start acting like that, Okay. It's because this person has a lot of regrets when it comes to you, okay? It's like um, someone might have had time to like, <laughs> I was just about to say it. Someone might have had time to reflect, look back on things with the Seven of Pentacles, 
okay? And, you know, felt like, you know, I could have done more or, you know, I didn't handle things the best, right? And so that's why you're getting this energy in the current with fantasy, all right? Knight of Cups is someone coming towards you with a love offer, love gesture, showing their heart on their sleeve, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? In the immediate future, we have harmony. Peace, balance, friendship, okay? Why is harmony here in the immediate future for Aries? The Six of Cups, okay? So you're having a new beginning, Ace of Cups, maybe with someone from the past, okay? Maybe with a soulmate or someone you've known since you were a child, someone that you have children with, okay? There's a new beginning. Um, this person feels like home to you, okay? Yeah, with the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, yeah. Maybe someone who was holding back from like making it an apology, making things right, or giving an apology, or um, showing any type of expression of how they felt. Okay, and yeah, and this is because someone you know just didn't know how to make things right with the will of fortune, right? And the two of wands. Yeah, someone realized that they have to make a choice at this point. It's like um, it's time for things to get moving. You know, like maturity or um, someone wanting to create some type of change, okay? It's time for them to make a choice. With the Five of Swords energy, someone that didn't know what choice to make, you know? Um, maybe they had a lot of people in their ear. Maybe um, they had, you know, it was a lot of gossip or rumors or things going around. They didn't know what choice to make. This could be a Taurus Virgo, but Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Hangman energy. Um, they could have been in something long-term, something financially uh, stable that... They might have felt stuck in, okay? Or I wouldn't even say financially stable. Something that they had their finances tied into, okay? Why is harmony here in the immediate future for Aries? That's a lot. <laughs> okay. Why is harmony here in the immediate future for Aries? Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Yeah. The Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, right? They say you're not playing, okay? The Queen of Swords, she, you know, she says what she has to say, and that's just the, what it is, okay? <laughs> like, yeah. So they, they're, you know, bringing this back together. The Six of Cups is also like reconciliation. There's a reconciliation coming here in the immediate future because someone knows it's time for them to choose a path, make a choice. And when this Queen of Swords energy, they know you're not playing, okay? So the Ace of Wands energy and the Sun card, they might come to you with some, you know, flirting, you know, they might come to you, you know, with, you know, something more passionate, some, something like out there, you know, it's like, oh, I wasn't really expecting it with this Ace of Wands because they want to bring the spark back. They want to bring the passion that you guys had between the two of you. They want to bring it back. Okay. Because that's what made them most happy. Okay. Yeah. With the Empress energy and the Nine of Pentacles, you're looking good, you're stable, you're responsible, and they see growth potential with you. Okay, so this is someone that's making a concrete decision, they're rushing in because they, they know what it is that you you uh bring to the table. Okay, so let's see why is time here? The advice spirit is like wait cycles infinity. Please make that clear, spirit. Ooh, it's something you don't know with the moon energy. Okay, star. Okay, star with the world. Okay, so there's healing here in the immediate future. Okay, I feel like everything that you desired or hoped for is coming here in the immediate future. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> With the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so it's like it just had to take time. Maybe for this person to grow up. Maybe for this person to really see who you were. Maybe for this person to change some type of cycle. Because we saw the devil energy is like someone kept doing the same thing, right? Um, with the Hierophant energy and the King of Swords, someone is choosing or making a solid choice to um, turn over a new leaf, to end a cycle, okay? With the Empress energy, all right? With the Star and Empress. It's like someone is, you know, choosing a path. They're going after what it is they truly desire. Um, and it might have taken some time for them to get to this point, all right? But with the King of Wands energy, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's apparent, okay? Listen, King of Wands is someone who took action that caused a lot of heartbreak and pain, okay? It could have caused a separation with that Eight of Cups. Someone walked away, but this is someone asking for a second chance. This is a second chance at, like, renewal of the connection, 
okay? So you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, but this is someone who you experience some pain with, okay? That you might have walked away from or they walked away from you. This is an opportunity for a second chance here. There is healing here. There is ultimate wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. There is growth potential here with the Empress. It just took some time. Okay. I think I read better now than I did then. I know I did. Okay. But um yeah. It's just I'm just different now. <laughs> just, I'm not the same type of person. I've grown as a person. <laughs> Let's see. It was uh, three years ago. Three years ago. I was <laughs> You know how I'd be like three years ago, man. I was, I was <laughs> three years ago. Who knows? It's like probably about to go out the country the next weekend or something. Well, I am about to go out the country, but yeah. yeah. Okay. This is for Leo. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Leo? Okay. You begin an apology. Leo, I see apology. Deja vu. Okay. All right, Leah, your overall energy is sidetracked, delays, distraction, change. Okay. All right. Let's see. What happened in the recent past? Epiphany, realization, understanding, awakening. Okay. You could have realized something. I'm like, okay, you know what? All right. I see what it is. <laughs> Current energy, boundaries. No, drawing the line. Okay. Yeah. He was like, you know what? I see what it is. How about now? Okay. And in the immediate future, elusive, intangible, dishonest, tricky. Okay. So I mean, it's just not clear. It's not clear in the immediate future. Your advice, unconditional, innocence, support, whole heart. Okay. We're going to clarify and see what that energy is about. The spirit is saying unconditional. Don't worry. I'm going to clarify. For Leo, right? let's see what's going on with Leo this current moment. Okay, the Empress tried to come out yeah. with the Seven of Wands. That could be a mother figure that's blocking things. That could be a mother figure, overbearing mother, or a mother figure that's just in the way. Okay, they're like just in the way. Right? Let's see. For Leo. Sit down, mother figure. Okay. <laughs> the mother figure. <laughs> Sit down, mother figure. Okay. Sorry. I'm off the so dry. Like, to be honest, I brush my teeth and everything when I got up in the middle of the night. But, yeah. Mouth extra dry. Okay, here we go. All right. So, overall energy is delays, distractions, change, sidetracked. Okay. Okay. Listen, there's some type of delay in you guys having the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is that long-term merge, da 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 okay? Everything. It's the finances coming together. It's like y'all being one, okay? Yeah, with the Queen of Cups energy and the Two of Wands, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be that mother figure that's impacting a choice, okay? Causing you to resist, okay, with the, um, the Strength card. Okay, why is sidetracked here as the overall energy? I think this is what's causing the delays. Mother figure, sit down, mother figure. <laughs> why is delays sidetracked? Why is the tear for Leo? Gee. Sidetrack, delays, distractions, change. Why is this here for Leo? You could be in a happy ever after situation with somebody you truly love, but there's some type of delays, okay? With the three of swords energy and the world, judgment, yeah, okay. 
yeah, there's some type of mother figure that's interfering with you getting what it is that you truly want. It's like, I could be over here by now, but instead, I'm still dealing with this, okay? Because with the Three of Swords and the World Energy, this is like a type of like heartache and pain and disappointment that you're ready to just close out. You're like, I don't want to keep dealing with this, okay? But the Judgment Energy and the Nine of Pentacles is you making a judgment to be on your own and move on to something better. You're like, I don't want to keep dealing with this, Okay? I want to move on to something different, all right? Yeah. There's someone who is interfering with that happy ever after. It's like, I could be in a happy ever after right now, but it's constant BS. And you might have realized this in the recent past. That's why Epiphany is here. Why is realization, Epiphany, realization, yeah. Realize, you know what? I need to move on with the chariot energy. Cancer, okay? You realize you need to move forward. You need to move on, Okay? With the Eight of Wands energy and the Knight of Swords, this communication could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Could have come out of nowhere, right? Um, but this is you communicating that something has to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, you know, I'm, I'm sad. This has to come to this, you know, conclusion. But it's, under, it's done, okay? It's over. It's done, okay? It's like, I can't do this no more. Why is Epiphany here? For Leo in a recent past. It's like you realize that like, I got to get away from this. Yeah. With the Ace of Cups energy. Yeah. Move on and have something new. Okay. The Ace of Cups is a brand new opportunity. All right. But you are moving slow at making that change. Okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune. This is like I'm not moving very quickly at making that change. Okay. Maybe because of a child with the Page of Wands. Okay. But this is also just like communication. Communication that excites you with the wand energy the two of cups and the four of wands okay maybe someone came back around and said, you know what i do want this i do i want this i want a relationship i want the ten of pentacles i want what you want let's be in a family let's be in a relationship okay so you were slow at making that change because you're like okay well you know maybe this can work <laughs> maybe it can right or it could be a child you know that was in place right and so you thought maybe a union and more structure was best. Okay. All right. Why is boundaries here in the current? No. Drawing a line. Okay. <laughs> like you see. Why is this here for Leo? Why is boundaries here for Leo in the current? Please make it clear. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. The death energy and the nine of pentacles. Okay. So someone could have been holding back from holding back on finances. It's like, okay, you want to be in a family, you want to, you know, want to be a unit, but you're not willing to be equal in this. You could be holding somebody could be holding back on finances. They could be nasty, right? It's like now and you got a bad attitude. Okay. It's like I can't even talk to you. You know, when I come around you, it's you know, you bitchy. Okay, or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. And so this could be like contributing to you being in an energy where you just like, I'm done with this. Okay. Like I tried to make it work, you know, in the best interest of, but I'm done. Okay. But the death energy and the nine of pentacles is you like choosing to be single. Okay. This can also be like someone who um is like impacting your personal stability. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could be saying in the current energy, no, drawing a line on somebody because it's like, okay, not only are you impacting my personal stability, okay, my livelihood, right? You hold back a lot. You, you're not, you're not, you don't share. You um, are real cold, you bitchy, and I don't, can't do it no more. So with the death call, you're like, no, all right? And with this queen of pentacles and a star, Four of Wands, that could be someone else that you desire, okay? There could be another party that you desire that you feel is more stable, is more of a wish fulfillment, okay? You're like, I could be going in this direction. We saw that energy over here, okay? Why is elusive here in the immediate future? Intangible, dishonest, tricky. Why is this here in the immediate future for Leo? Please make it clear.
the judgment and the ace of swords. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Judgment Energy and the Ace of Swords, you know what judgment you want to make. You're pretty clear on it, okay? But you're being real, like, elusive or tricky, you know, in the direction you're going because you have Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You're questioning yourself. You're questioning your self-worth. You're questioning how much you bring to the table. Maybe because somebody did impact your finances in the current energy, right? So you're like, I don't even have much to bring to the table. I, you know, I... This person is my wish fulfillment, nine of cups, but, you know, are they even going to want me or is this even going to be successful? Okay. Yeah. Look, the king of cups, justice, and the queen of cups. You feel like this is the, the person, the right direction for you to go, but you're questioning yourself. That's why it's coming up as elusive. It's like maybe you're not even sure yourself. Yeah, you're not. Look, two of pentacles. You're going back and forth with having this new beginning with the ace of wands. Six of swords. Mm -hmm. you're worried about being rejected you feel like if you go into this new direction you know what direction you want to take you know what judgment you want to make right but you keep going back and forth on it because you feel like you're, you you're questioning your self-worth you feel like this person is going to be like no right whatever direction you're going into you're like this whoever you're going towards you feel like this person is going to be like no, or reject you, but like, no, thank you. Okay? Because you see someone as like the right person for you. King of Cups, Justice, and the Queen of Cups. It's like, this is my person, right? But you are questioning your self worth as like whether this person would receive you is the same. Okay? Your advice, though, is unconditional. Okay? Unconditional. It says innocence, support, whole heart. Okay, why is unconditional here for Leo? No, listen, Th make it clear, spirit. Make it clear. That's what I'm talking about. With the full energy, spirit's like, you can take that leap. Take it. Take it because this is unconditional. Okay, whatever the love you have for this person that you feel like is your person, listen, it's unconditional. All right, you can take that leap. King of Pentacles, all right? With the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups. So this is telling me that this is this unconditional message is for the person who is worried about being rejected. Okay? You can take that leap. All right? But the King of Swords and the Devil, okay, and the Five of Pentacles, okay, you have an unhealthy um, thought process. Okay, with the devil energy, king of souls and the devil energy, your thinking is distorted. Okay, you have an energy of lack, self-worth, lack of, lack of self-worth. Okay, yeah, nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment, this is your wish fulfillment and you are this person's wish fulfillment as well. Okay, you have a distorted view of yourself. Okay. Spirit's like, you can take that leap. You worrying about being rejected. This person wants you to. Okay? So tell this mother figure. <laughs> okay? No. Kick rocks. <laughs> Boots. Get out. Leave me alone. Take your bitchy behavior <laughs> somewhere else. I don't have to deal with it. And don't worry about the new direction that you're going into because it's going to be beautiful. You see it, they see it. So that's what I have for you, Shiv. I hope this helped. Moving on to Sagittarius. Just like on that, right? That's crazy. And it's all because of how you're viewing yourself. You're like, you know what judgment you want to make. You know the direction you want to go, Leo. you just like, I don't know. 
And the reason why is because of how you viewing yourself. And it could have been because of the experience that you had. And I got that from the Daily Collective. Okay. Someone being uh having fear about going into a new direction because of their past experiences. All right. Let's see. All right. Sage. And then I'm gonna sage the deck, and then I'm gonna move on to the air sign. <laughs> so this is for Sagittarius, for all my Sagittarians, okay? Holy Spirit, angels of heaven, please give a message that is clear and concise. Is that the right word? Yeah. <laughs> clear and accurate <laughs> for Sagittarius. For my Sagittarius. You ready? Sag, your overall energy is euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. Listen, we here for it. We here for it, <laughs> okay? Euphoria with your recent past. <laughs> Let me see what the whip is. Roman, wow, just free spirit and risk and possibilities. You're just so happy right now. What happened in the recent past? <laughs> Mirror, reflection, shared feelings, you, okay? So maybe you shared your feelings with someone and you saw like, okay, they feel the way I feel. Okay. Current energy. Time, weight, cycles, infinity, okay? Things take time, but this could be the time. Immediate future. Apology, return, forgiveness, gifts, okay? Could be getting a gift or some type of apology or something. Your advice, deja vu, past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns. And we're going to clarify that and see because we don't want you to go down no repeated patterns. Okay, <laughs> here we go. What deck am I going to use? I'm good. All right. Okay, for Sagi. So you're happy and feeling good and feeling free, okay? Yeah. That Ten of Cups energy, you can have this on your mind, thinking about all the possibilities, okay? You're interested in someone, maybe you feel like they're going to reject you. I'm looking at the cards that are showing. Let's see. Why is euphoria here as the overall energy for Sag? Okay, that kind of pushed out. All right. The King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. With the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay. Someone wants a new beginning, but they're holding back and procrastinating. Sum it all up with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, it's like it's just it's, it's just not coming together. It's like they waiting on someone else. Okay, or they waiting to progress things forward. They could be waiting on a mother figure. Okay, it's like waiting on a mother figure to get. Okay, waiting, waiting, waiting for, waiting on a mother figure before they like communicate their next move or. Waiting on someone to like maybe make a decision for them, you know? You know, like like how some people just be like, I just want this person to break up with me, right? <laughs> okay, so with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, someone definitely wants a new beginning. Um, four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords is like holding back from moving on. It's like, I want it, but I don't. I want it, but I don't. Okay? Yeah. Procrastinating with the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Well, in the recent past, we have Mirror. And that might be why the, the advice is just deja vu. It's like, you've been here before, haven't you? <laughs> okay, let's see. Why is Mirror here in the recent past? It says, reflection, shared feelings, you. Uh-huh, yeah. You've been here before, haven't you, Sag? Okay, King of Wands. <laughs> yeah. This could be a same-sex connection. All right, with the Four Swords. Okay. Yeah. 
you guys could have had a conversation in the recent past that, you know, could have cleared up things. This could be someone you already know. Cleared up things. Um, made things better. Healed things. Okay, you could have... Uh, yeah. With the Eight of Cups energy and the Lovers. Okay. Yeah, you could have, like, you know, had a conversation or, you know, tried to heal things. Maybe because someone walked away from the connection or you could have decided to take a break from each other. Um, this could be something that you both felt like was necessary. Okay, with the Ace of Wands and the Judgment Energy. Okay. Okay, you could have been on a break with someone or, you know, maybe just... I feel like with the mirror energy reflection and shared feelings in you, you could have connected with someone and you guys kind of repaired things. That's the energy that I'm getting. We repaired things. This could be someone that walked away from you. You walked away from them. Um, and it could have, you know, could have started like a new spark, you know. could have been like, you know, a new beginning between you and them, okay? Yeah. Why is time here in the current energy? For Sag. Why is time here in the current? Temperance. Okay. Things take time. Okay. As far as like maybe the current energy, you you know, you're being patient. You know, allowing things to unfold naturally with the Empress energy. Um, before, you know. Okay. So someone is waiting Okay, you know, taking their time, being patient, um, and allowing things to unfold because before they make a decision to like be single, before they before they separate themselves from someone or another situation. Okay. Yeah. Because the the will of fortune was kind of like in reverse. So it's almost like it's like someone's not not quite ready for change. It's like they, they just, you know, they don't want to rush things. And, you know, because it gives them a lot of anxiety you know, to make this decision when it comes to like being in a relationship and stuff. Someone's not quite ready. Okay. So it's like with time being here, you know, spirit, somebody, somebody could be like asking for more time or asking you to be patient or, you know, let's just take it slow because they're just like not quite sure about, you know, the direction that they want to go. Okay. Two major arcana here. Yeah. Because it's a lot of drama. Okay. It's a lot of drama with this change. Okay. It's a lot. This is why someone's kind of resisting the change. It's like, I want this new beginning, but I'm kind of, I kind of don't. It's like, I'm holding back from moving on. Right. Um, because it's a lot of drama with this change. It's going to cause a lot of upheavals. Okay. Yeah. So someone is like, you know, they, they, they balance in the energy of them wanting this, okay? It's like, I know I want this, but is it the right time? Am I ready? Uh, okay? With justice energy and a nine of cups, it's like, is this right? Okay? But with justice and the nine of cups, it's like, yeah, it's right. Okay? <laughs> All right. So we have the apology here in the media future, okay? Listen, queen of wands, try to come out. So, somebody could be giving an apology to you or, you know, got the king of wands. Why is apology here in the immediate future for Satch? The king of swords and the two of cups, okay? Okay. So, this could be someone apologizing for, you know, the decisions that they've made in the connection. These, these, this apology could be coming from um, a fire sign, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay. Why is apology here? It could be coming from a, a air sign, too. Okay. With the six of wands. Okay. Six of wands and the four of cups. This could be someone that you rejected. Okay. Um, and this is because they want your attention. Mm-hmm. It's like you pushing them away gave them some type of clarity that, you know, of how they feel about you, okay, and what they want with you, all right? Why is Apaji here in the immediate future? 
It's like now they know what they want. Why is it pause you here in the immediate future? It's like, but you wouldn't make a change all this time. You wouldn't make no change. And why is it pause you here in the immediate future? Chariot. Okay. They're ready to move forward. Okay. Spirit could be guiding you to move forward um, single. Okay. This kind of looks like... Um, Someone who is enjoying, you know, their current, enjoying the way things are right now with the euphoria card. This could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that wants a new beginning, but they're kind of holding back from moving forward because they could be in a break with someone um, that they are in a connection with. This can also be someone that in the recent past that you healed things with, right? They could have walked away from you or they walked away from another connection. Um, I'm going to clarify that a little more because it's a little confusing right here. Okay. What is this Eight of Cups in their recent past for Sag? Okay. Yeah. They were tired of being sad. Okay. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. Someone left a situation because they was tired of it, like, just not working out. So they made a decision to leave it. Okay. Although, yeah. They love this person. They just weren't happy. All right. So... Yeah, this is like taking a break. This is taking a break. So someone took a break from a connection in a recent past um, because they was just tired of being like unhappy, right? So they made a decision, okay? And the current energy, tempers with the Wheel of Fortune kind of came out in reverse. It's like, I want to, you know, balance things out. I want things to be back in, you know, at peace. But it's like, is it the right time? Because it's still a lot of drama. Or I'm balancing the way I feel my heart and mind. But... Is it the right time because it's a lot of drama? Okay. Why is the temperance energy here for Sage? That's your energy though, Sage. It's the temperance energy. Why is temperance here in the current? Okay. So you're no longer like worried about the union. Okay. No, no longer like stressed about being in union with someone new because we see it. It's like having something new. You're no longer stressed about, you know, being in union with someone new. But it's like, is it the right time? It's a lot of drama. And then in the immediate future, you have an apology from someone, okay? Someone that wants your attention, okay? But spirit could be guiding you to move forward, okay? Move forward single with the nine of pentacles on, you know, the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. What's the chariot energy in the immediate future for Sag? Sag, your reading one is clear. What's the chariot energy in the immediate future for Sag? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spirit is telling you to move forward because your intuition, high priestess, is telling you to have a new beginning, ace of cups, okay? But you're procrastinating, knight of pentacles, on ending something, ten of swords, okay? Yeah. Someone is, you know, maybe distorting your decision making because they want your attention. The spirit is guiding you to kind of do your own thing. Okay. You're moving towards something more balanced. Okay. Something more reciprocal. Six of Pentacles. And someone is more of your match with the Queen of Pentacles because you're the King of Pentacles over here. Feeling happy and ready for something new. Okay. Feeling more stable. All right. And Justice right behind that. With Deja Vu. Deja Vu. <laughs> Being the advice, okay, spirit could be saying, like, this is just a repeated pattern. You've been here before, okay? It says life, past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns, okay? Why is deja vu here in the as the advice for Sag? Please make it clear. Power, three of wands, okay, tower, the three of wands, with the seven of cups, and the ten of swords, okay, and so all of a sudden, okay, it's like this, 
So this tower energy, okay, with the three of wands. It's like the repeated pattern is you waiting and being confused about ending something, okay? Because we saw the seven of cups and the ten of swords. It's like, you know, tower to this waiting energy, okay? With spirit's advice being like deja vu, this is a repeated pattern, karmic lesson, okay? It's like, don't allow this person to stagnate you, okay? With the six of pentacles and the queen of pentacles again, your future is guiding you towards something more balanced, okay? Something more, something more your speed, Okay. The tower energy is about tearing down things. Okay. Um, destroying. Okay. Um, so it can, something else can be rebuilt. Okay. But the tower energy is like enough. Okay. Enough. Let me clarify the tower energy so we can just be clear. It's not just me talking. Right. <laughs> like it's, it's clear. But spirit's kind of saying like enough. Okay. Your future is calling for you to have something way more balanced. Look at that. Tower Mm hmm Okay. Tower two, what the conflict is, okay? Tower two, this conflict, five of wands, okay? Because with the page of swords, you know, okay? And this is you having the information, the clarity, the understanding to know, page of swords is to know that the eight of cups, you need to leave the past behind. The spirit need to make it any more clear. Drop the mic. Some, please, give me a mic real quick so I can drop it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what Spirit is saying. Very clearly. How many minutes have I been on your reading, Sage? Jeez. That's what I have for you, though. Don't allow somebody to take you down that same cycle. Okay? Of making you question your thought patterns or, you know, the direction that you're taking. No, somebody just wants your attention. It's like, oh, you're not showing me attention no more? Let me mess with your brain again. Okay? Don't allow that to happen. Okay. Moving on. Okay, I got to do my staging. I'm going to have to split these videos. So this is going to be for fire and air. And then I'm going to do... Um, no, I'm going to do a whole separate video. So this is for the fire signs. Yeah. I'm going to do it like that. Just in case I get tired and then I can pick up the other signs later. It is 2, 7 in the morning. 3 now. Okay. I hope you like these videos. Please let me know what you think. And um, yeah. Tell me if I should do more like this. I wish you guys already. Bye. <laughs> Oh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. That tells me if you liked it or not. Okay? Like, comment. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. So post it to social media and stuff. And then subscribe too. Miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs>